The linkage between organic chemistry and biological function is the catalysis and self-assembly behavior of biomolecules. Primarily, this means the interactions of proteins with other molecules in the cell. There are chemical rules about what transformations can occur within a cell. Every reaction has a reaction mechanism, which is the sequence of distinguishable states from starting material to product. One of these states is the highest energy point, and this state defines the rate of the reaction. The higher that energy, the lower the rate. For a reaction to occur in a cell, its transition state energy must be accessible under atmospheric pressure and temperature, and all the states must not react with water. In practice, this is highly constraining over what reactions get observed. For biosynthetic devices, primarily we are concerned with the functions of enzymes. Enzymes have active sites that catalyze reactions. Here we illustrate the active site of a zinc protease. Specific residues in the protein, shown in boxes such as HIS-196, are oriented in the protein in such a way that they can interact specifically with ligands. Here a zinc atom is held by a triplet of residues and is used as a Lewis acid to activate the amide in the substrate. Other regions of the active site include a nonpolar pocket at top in purple, showing regions of interactions that help bind and recognize the substrate. Through these interactions, an initial binding event between the substrate and the enzyme leads to an intermediate in which the substrate is precisely bound into the active site. By its conformation and orient orientation relative to a catalytic zinc site, the amide hydrolysis reaction becomes accelerated relative to its spontaneous reaction. Enzymes cannot make new chemistry happen. In this case, the hydrolysis of an amide is itself something that happens spontaneously when you mix them with water. However, this enzyme-free reaction is so slow that it is not easily observed. The reaction by an enzyme is many orders of magnitude over its spontaneous counterpart. We can describe what's going on in an enzymatic reaction in terms of transitions and structure. In this diagram, we illustrate all the molecules as a circle and indicate non-covalent complexes as lines. An enzyme and a substrate bind to form an ES complex, which can be understood as a transition in the structure of the complexes present. Thus, it is a change in the graph that represents the complex. In the next step, a bond changing reaction takes place, resulting in a modified complex in which the enzyme is bound to two products. Thus, the molecule graph of the substrate has been split into two subgraphs. Finally, a dissociation reaction occurs in which the product enzyme complex breaks into three separate ones. Let's focus on just the enzyme in this series of reactions. We can now describe the system of an enzyme, a substrate, and some product molecules in terms of their distinguishable states within the system. So each step of the reaction sequence represents one such state. There are four steps, so there are four states to the system. If we examine this system from the perspective of the enzyme, we can simplify things. If the enzyme is not bound to anything, it is unaware that they are present, so we can remove them. The zero and three states are now the same. So E only has three distinct states that it is observed to participate in. We will describe the world according to E as the states it can exist in, the allowed transition for those states, and the constraints on the inputs and outputs of these transitions. Formally, the data structure this implies is a Mealy machine, which defines this set of states, an initial state defined to be the APO, or free enzyme, an input and output substrate alphabet, and a transition function. This formalism captures the essence of biochemical diagrams such as this one. Most of the enzymes observed in biological systems obey a bye-bye mechanism in which two substrates bind and two substrates are released by the enzyme. Each reaction links different states of the system, but such diagrams can be directly translated into this Mealy machine formalism. In this diagram, some arrows represent transitions in complexation states, such as E binding to S to make ES. Others correspond to transformations of molecular graphs, such as the ES to EP step. The biochemistry of proteins and metabolites is a rich subject. At the most basic level, we have simple enzymes that have been studied for many decades and well understood. 
The rest of biochemistry is an extension of the same basic ideas observed in the enzyme system. There are microstates of the participants that involve covalent and non-covalent transitions in structure. As an example, here we show the binding of lambda repressor to its operator on a DNA. We can understand this behavior in terms of changes in complexation states of the molecules involved. Here there are four recognizable states. In summary, chemical reactions are spontaneous and random changes in the structure of molecules and complexes of molecules. Enzymatic reactions do not introduce additional reaction mechanisms to the basic rules of chemistry, but they accelerate select reactions orders of magnitude over their spontaneous counterparts. We can capture biochemical diagrams as a Mealy machine, which is a type of state machine, and from this describe more formally the reactions observed in biology. Though this biochemistry will get fancier, the basic mechanisms are the same, and the formalisms for describing the space are captured by this core idea.